Last time on Out of the Darkroom, I was chatting to Laura Panic about her work and today she's going to fill us in on what motivates her and how she got her start in photography. Adorama TV presents Out of the Dark Room with Ruth Medjbear. You mentioned your education. Um, what is your educational background? Do you, did you study photography? Yeah, so I did fine art. Um, I did, well, I did a foundation in fine art. And then I specialised in graphics. And then from there, I did a short photography course and just got entirely hooked. Um, and then, so I did a, then did a foundation in photography and then did a degree in photography. Wow, okay. So you've kind of done it all and always come back to My liver is like dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just always. drank a lot. You just liked staying in college. So yeah, you just basically. did it for a while. <laughs> yeah. There's no harm in doing that as well. Was there any other projects that you have coming up that you're really excited about? Um, yeah, I'm working on a project, um, two projects at the moment. Um, well, I'm continuing the Jewish series, yeah, with, of course, which was in the Taylor West. Yeah, because you won a prize for that in the Taylor West. Yeah. Could you maybe even tell us a little bit about that? How did that get set up? Yeah, um, I mean, it's a project that I've been doing for a long time now. And Stanford Hill is a community of very, den it's very densely populated with um, Orthodox Jews and from various different sects. Yeah. And um, so I thought it'd be quite interesting to work with the women because yeah. um, I found that the women weren't photographed and okay. I was just quite interested in their lives because I'm actually Jewish. Okay. Um, and I've grown up in the most opposite kind of, you know, cultural kind of background. Right. Like I was the only Jewish girl in my school and, you know, Same. and then I've moved to this area. And it's just been really nice to kind of, you know, reach out to these women who I don't know anything about and I really want to learn from them. Yeah. I really want to kind of gain an understanding of their lifestyle. Um, and you know, it's just been a, a wonderful insight into my neighborhood because that's where I live. Okay. Um, and I felt that actually like one of the most challenging things that personally that I can do is do something close to me. Okay. I think I find it quite difficult to go to another country and see something exotic or to focus myself on a project that's kind of like, yeah. you know, it's there and I know that I can execute it. Whereas with this, it was kind of a lot more mysterious. Um, I knew that the access was going to be incredibly challenging and I knew that it was close to home. Yeah. So I had to kind of make the banal interesting. So is it, is it people that really, that you love? Or? People fascinate me and people are unpredictable. I mean, landscapes are beautiful, but um, I kind of find that there's only so many factors within a 60th of a second yeah. that will alter that landscape. Whereas I feel like a person can just do anything. Yeah. And I kind of, I like that exchange. And I come from, you know, I've always had an interest in social science and psychology. And okay, so I yeah. think like, I think that kind of comes into it quite a bit. You know, I'd, I'd really like to pursue more projects that touch on those things as well. There's a lot of people who, who've come through kind of a similar degree than you have and, and maybe want to create work like yours and get to the level that you're at. And is there anything that you could advise them or, or recommend for them to do? I mean, what's, what would you... What would you say to people? I don't know. I think there's like, there's so many, um, I think, I think I'm really lucky though, because I think that as soon as I, and this is going to sound like such a cliche, but as soon as I picked up a camera, like I totally knew, I was just like, I, I want to die doing this. I was like, I just, I totally fell at like head over heels for it. And that was really lucky. Yeah. Like not many people kind of just know what they want. Yeah. Know what they want to do. So mm. I guess the advice that I could only give would just be to, um, to not isolate yourself like oh. I think that actually like the majority of ways in which my photography has developed and how I've grown up as a person have been down to my influences my inspiration okay. and I think that photography although it seems like quite an isolating thing that yeah. you go off with your camera and you go roaming and you have fun yeah. actually you know the community of photography is incredibly embracing and it's having that critique and that mentorship and that you know that kind of collaboration with your peers yeah. that really forms kind of like the way that you express yourself and i think challenges the way you express yourself so almost seek out other photographers and, and advice and i think feedback. i think seek criticism yeah. i think that the worst thing that people can do is become complacent mm. um and i think if you have passion you're probably not complacent yeah. Yeah. um but i think that you know when you're stuck on something or if you don't show your imagery to people as much as you may hate doing it, and I do, yeah. you know, in order to grow, you need to be criticised. Mm. I think even that's... if you want to challenge that criticism and say yeah. no, you know, I, I truly believe that the way that I'm making these images is the right way. Mm. I think it's important to have that conversation, and I think also like there needs to be a balance. So there needs to be concept. There needs to be content. It's wonderful looking at beautiful images, but mm. if there's no intellect behind it, yeah. I can't engage with it. 
and forgive me but a lot of the time I look at a lot of very conceptual work and I totally don't get it and it doesn't we'll draw me in excessively <laughs> yeah so I think there needs to be a balance okay personally for a yeah. successful image absolutely can I just bring you back then and we're going to talk about just your camera because okay, yeah. we love hearing about cameras here on this show yes. and we love knowing <laughs> you know what people use and um so I've, I don't know whether you want to favorite the digital or the analog here definitely analog definitely analog so my favorite for the moment is a Hasselblad 6.6 nice. it's 500 cm but I'm really looking to learn more about large format I've been practicing yeah. with it so yeah. I really want to shoot some more 5.4 I mean large format is fun and it's you know it's technically challenging but it's expensive it <laughs> is it <laughs> is expensive it yeah it's it is expensive. but it's so beautiful and then uh, I also use a Polaroid 180 oh, brilliant. Um, so I've been learning using that but yeah, I think the Hasselblad, the Hasselblad if that would be my desert at. island, you know. Yeah, I hope someone gives you a large format camera now after this interview and goes, that would be amazing. I can't wait to see what you do with it, I'm sure. Do, do I need to do like a puppy dog face at the yeah, camera say, or something? Oh, please give me a large format, to ask me oh, so good with it, <laughs> and I'll be your assistant. <laughs> but listen, thanks so much for joining us today. No, yeah, I've me. learned a lot, to be honest, about your style, and uh, I really can't wait to see more. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you. Cheers. A big thank you to the National Portrait Gallery for allowing us access to the Taylor Wessing Photographic Portrait Prize today. Next time you're in London, do pop in and see what they've got on to offer here. Join me again on Out of the Dark Room when I'm going to be interviewing some more great photographers. Check out the Adorama Learning Centre for some tips and tricks on your own photography. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. See you soon. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.